Hello everyone, my name is Santiago Morales and I'm the product manager of 2020 Design and welcome to this webinar that's going to be talking about 2010 Design in version 11.12. Before we start off with 11.12, let us just look at a brief latest enhancements of this past year. So uh, one of the first things that we've worked uh, extensively on was the recovery file management. Uh, some of our users complained that their backup file uh, was not full to the extent that they expected it. So right now we've changed this process management. It's a lot more sturdier. And whenever, if you encounter a problem with 2020 design, or if you want to go back to a backup version, these files will be remaining there for you and easily accessible for you. We also worked on the 360 panoramic image download. Uh, we used to have a functionality last year that permits you, once you've created 360 panoramic, to easily upload it onto Facebook. Unfortunately, Facebook changed their policy last year and we were no longer capable of simply uploading those images directly from our uh, 360 panoramic server onto Facebook. But what we've managed to do is allow you to download that image, that 360 panoramic image, onto your desktop computer. So once you've downloaded that image, you're then able manually to upload it onto your Facebook account. So why would you like to do that? An example is what we've done here on 2020 Spaces, our Facebook account. We've created a library of 360 panoramic images. So if I were to click on any of these images, I have this 360 panoramic image available on Facebook. So now you have the capability of using all the power of Facebook to like and therefore share all your renderings or your 360 panoramic projects of your designs to with your friends, your customers, and they in turn can share that information through their friends. So you get a lot more exposure using the Facebook application. Going back here, we also work on the CIC items management. CIC, which stands for content in cloud. So we've added uh, maybe two years ago, uh, our cloud decorative catalog. So now all your decorative items are now accessible from the cloud browser. Uh, so what we've done in that respect, we've made the system a lot more linear. So these cloud items come in at a faster pace and you'll be able to use and interact with them within 2020 design a lot more easily. Of course, if you, you can't find something that you're looking for in our cloud browser, there's always the suggestion box. And we strongly encourage for you to do that. How do you do that? So basically, you, you go on to 2020 spaces and slash 2020-decorative-items, and you'll be redirected to this page. And if you can remember this link, you just simply use the browse or the search capability and look for the current of item and eventually you'll get to the space. So you notice here in the middle you have two tabs. You have a list of 2020 decorative items that are available in our catalog and you also have a second tab called got a, got a suggestion. And simply what we need you to do is provide is describe your item that you're looking for which as as much details as you can given dimension as well. And if you can give us a quick image of what you're looking for, it'll help us exp expedite your request and make sure that you can find in the cloud browser the items that you're most uh, inclined to be using. Okay, now let's move, out, move over on to what's new in version 11.12. Magic Plan. Magic Plan is an application, for those of you who are not aware of Magic Plan, it's an application that allows you to lay out uh, your customer's uh, layout or, of the room simply by using a phone or an iPad. So using the app Magic Plan application, which is an application that can be loaded from the App Store if you're using uh, iPhone, and from, I can think, the Google Store from, for Android devices, you'll be able to get this application and install it on your um, iPad or, or phone. So just by clicking and selecting the corners dimensions of your customer's uh, room, you'll be able to simply lay out this room onto your phone. Once you have a Magic Plan account, you'll be able to easily import in that layout into 2020 design. 
So what we've done, it's been a, it's been a, a an application or a feature that's been there for for quite a while now, but we've made the capture of the layout of the room more precise. Furthermore, what we've also added is the capability to place or interpret items that are placed into Magic Plan. So if, for instance, you're at your customer location and you're redesigning their bathroom, for instance, you know for certain, you know at your customer location where these items are. So you can easily place them using Magic Plan. Once you've placed them, these items are reflected into 2020 design, making your design process more easily and more efficient. You no longer need to scribble down notes and take dimension placements of where these items are. You can simply drag and drop on the magic plan and then they'll appear directly at the right location in 2020 design. Awesome. All right. The second functionality that we worked on was the multiple dimension. Now for this, I'll go straight into 2020 design. All right, so one of the challenges that we, we've heard is that uh, some of our users think there's way too many dimensions in 2020 design, whereas some others say there's not enough dimensions, and it's kind of hard to get the right level of dimensioning uh, everybody needs. So for those of you who are interested in setting up the dimension, you, are capable, you have the capability of going to display settings of your floor plan, for instance, and going to the dimension tab and easily or select, I say, the actual dimension that you're looking for to the to have on your on your plan. So although you have this capability, users prefer to add their own dimension at will. For that, they go into the annotation tab and use the line to line capability. So when they select an, a one line and the other, they can place their dimension this way. And if they select another type of line, they can select the dimension this way. So as you can certainly see, this is, can become a long and lengthy process. So I'm going to start over using the new capability, multi-dimension, which is now a new button on the annotation tab right on the top left corner. So when you select this button, you're now in this to, into this mode where you select the first line, which becomes your reference line for your dimensions. So if I select here my left hand wall, now I can simply click the next lines that I like to have dimension. And when I'm done or completed my process, I can right click and then easily place all these dimensions onto my floor plan. The steps once again, I'll do that for the other wall. I'll take my reference line, in this case, this wall, and simply click the dimensions that I like. So I might decide not to take this one, but take maybe the next one over. And I have full control as to which dimension, dimensions I want for my floor plan. These multiple dimensions that are available on your floor plans, the elevations, and the side elevations. I'm sure you're going to appreciate this capability. All right, now if we go to our next capability, we have angled beams. So that's becoming more and more popular for our users in order to display these cathedral ceilings with all these nicely shaped beams. So what we've done is we've added to the room catalog a couple of beams. So we have our regular cathedral ceiling beam, we have our angled beams, and we have the cathedral ceiling beams with trusts. So if I go, in, if I go back to 2020 design and go on to my right angle beam kit file, I set out three layouts, or three rooms in this case, with different configuration. As you notice here on the left hand side, I have my local browser, which has my room catalog selected. And if I go into architectural element to beams, beams, I have now added three items on into this catalog. The cathedral beams, the angle beams, and the cathedral beams with thrusts. So here I'm just all I need to do is select my beam, putting on my floor plan put them on the left hand side, stretch it all the way to the right to my next wall, give it a width, and here's my layout. So if I want to get an idea of what it looks like on the floor plan, on the perspective, 
here I have my two beams, my previous beam that I just added, and the previous be and this beam that I just added right now. Now you might have noticed that the height is not adequate, so I'm just going to have to double click on this beam that I just added, go get his attributes, and I'm going to set its up-down position to 96, which is the height of my left wall. So by doing this, now that beam now is flush with that ceiling. And if I go back to my view of my cathedral beam, you'll see that it's now rightfully placed. So these new beams are easily accessible from uh, 2020 design. You'll be able to set the position more accurately, and you'll also be able to change the texture, which is some of our requests have been added or asked uh, frequently to be able to have the capability to have different types of woods and maybe have a metallic or steel beam. Cool. Going back to our presentation, let's go move on to the next capability, light sources. This is something that's been requested uh, many times for us. Some rooms are very challenging, let's just say, to lit up. There might be some areas of shadows that are, are quite challenging to get the right level illumination. So what we've done in 2020 design, if I go back and activate the right light source kit found, we've added in the room underscore fur catalog, three new light sources. Basically, these are light sources without the graphical shape of uh, the light or the spot recessed light. So just for the sake of demonstration, I've added one of each. What we've added is a light shining down, a light shining up, and an omnidirectional light. So as I've added these, I've also changed the color of each one so you'll be able to better appreciate what we're talking about. So if I select my perspective here, and I bring this out and zoom in. Now you'll notice I have my three lights, the blue light, the red light, and the omnidirectional light. As I place them simply by drag and drop onto my floor plan, they come up at a default height of 60 inches from the floor. So these lights, I can easily drag and drop, move them around on my floor plan and on my elevation. And I also have all the right capabilities to change and play around with all these settings. So I'll be able to change the intensity, I'll be able to change the cone angle, the color, and if I'd like to get a little bit more um, precise on the profile, I also have this capability as well. So again, so now you have all the controls to properly light up a room. So if you feel that you're missing some lighting in some areas, this is a nice quick addition capability that allows you that. All right, so that was in short what was new in 1112. If you need any help at all, we still have all these medias of information that are available at your fingertip. We have training material, so beside the 101 training videos that are accessible to you, we also have a set of 201 uh, videos accessible to you. Knowledge centers. This are actually white papers of common answers that we've got from the community. So if you look something, if you have a question on how to do such a, a thing, uh, you, you might want to direct your attention to the Knowledge Center and direct your question there. And you, most likely you'll be able to have a related answers that we've captured and posted on, your on our database of the Knowledge Center. Of course, the community, if you don't have a 2020 cloud account yet, please go ahead and create one. It's free and you'll have access to all the forms of 2020 design. So you'll be able to see chats or questions or answers from the community that can easily assess or address your questions you might have in real time. Okay, so you might want us to follow, you might want to follow us on social media. Uh, we have a couple of nice hashtags set up for you. So be sure to register yourself to these um, hashtags to make sure you have the latest tips and tricks. If you need any more information at all, 2020spaces.com remains your main source of information. So we have tons of video on there. We have our Facebook uh, 2020 Spaces page also available. We're on, on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Snapchat, Instagram. Again, my name is Santiago Morales, 2020 Design Product Manager, and I 
I hope you enjoyed this presentation, this webinar on 2020 Design 11.12. If you have any other questions, please redirect it to residential support at 2020spaces.com. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.